Hello, I am Snehal and in this video I will show how to use NB4.7 software to get the spectral signature of various types of soil. Let me open a previously opened file. This is the file uh, which is an ester data and we can load the file in infrared region. This is the image. Uh, we have to take various spectral signature of various soil types. First, let me open the ROI tool. In this, let me open five regions. And we name the region as soil one, then soil two, then soil three, and press center, then soil four. choose the window as zoom window as it will be easier for us to work on zoom window and select the area of interest and now I type let me select as rectangle out of all the options as rectangle will be more simple now for soil 1 let me select this area and till the patch for soil 2 let me select this area for soil 3 let me select this area for soil 4 let me select this area For soil 5, let me select this area. Okay. All the 5 samples have been selected. Uh, the red one is this one, green one is this one, blue one is one, yellow one is this one, and cyan one is this one. Now, let me go to end member collection, end member collection, and I'll select the extra file which I have taken, and then I'll import the ROI files from the input file. These are the five ROI files. I select all, and I'll click OK then I'll plot the data we can see that these are the five different spectra of soil types the blue one has the highest reflectance yellow one has lowest reflectance now we can infer various things from it as the blue one is this one as this has highest reflectance we can assume that the soil is basic ground, it is full ground with, without any grass or anything but yellow one has lowest reflectance. We can assume that there are some grass or some small plants or bushes or something like that which has hindered the complete reflectance to reach the center and different types of soil have different Collection spectra, cyan has different example. This one is the cyan, which has a, which is of different soil. We can even study the various moisture contents of the soil, soil types, soil structure based on collection spectra, and it is very useful for future studies of also from theory we know that if the soil is medium sealed then its reflectance value will be high. If the soil is coarse sand, reflectance value will be low. Now from the from our collection spectra we can compare the values as if the reflectance value is high it may be medium silt it may be it may be very fine sand if the reflectance value is low which is yellow it may be coarse sand or very coarse sand also depending on the loam or sandy loam or very fine sandy loam the collection spectra will vary uh, so it may also be possible that 
the higher reflectance curves like blue or cyan or red are sandy loam and the lower reflectance curves like yellow and green are very fine sandy loam very fine sandy loam also we can identify the moisture contents from the hand member collection it may be possible that the moisture content of the first soil that is blue color is very low that's why reflectance is high and the moisture content of yellow is very high around 15 to 20 percent that's why is reflectance value is low this way we can study the end member collection spectra of soil and use it for our various inferences